2021 was a phenomenal year for Airspeeder. We spent the year testing and proving out our technology to get ready to race. We have hundreds of flights under our belts uh, with the Mark III. Uh, we've worked all the way up to our first races, our first drag race. It was a massive achievement and showed that we really can, as a team, come together, build the vehicle, test the vehicle, get it racing, and deliver an amazing event. It was a year of huge milestones for the, the ASPDA team and the Allouder team. Um, super proud of what we've been able to achieve. And uh, now we're in a position where we have flight ready vehicles, we have pilots in training, we have our first races um, coming up this year in the 2022 season around the world. And I'm just looking forward to an amazingly fun year traveling the world and racing flying cars. We've rested, we've returned fresh for 2022, which is gonna be our biggest year ever. Along with testing the, um, the GNSS system and the return to home function, we are also working on the FPV system for the, the Mark 3C. So we are developing um, an FPV system uh, for the Mark 3C vehicle and it's connected to the fact that we are designing a new pilot control station which will be composed of different, different components, some related to the control and some related to the fact that we need high definition and really low latency camera and transmission system for the, for the pilots uh, to be able to race. It's also part of the, um, uh, the safety system related to when we could lose the control link from the vehicle and we need to have a function that is supporting the return to home. Um, we lose the, the link, for example, if we lose the control link or if we lose the camera link we need to have something that will help the vehicle to uh, be safe uh, and return to the position where it was uh, launched initially. Part of the, the process to, to validate our new control system and also the new FPV system, uh, we are working with Telstra Purple and also AWS uh, for the data collection, data storage and enhancement of the, of the data be using also the, um, uh, the pilot control station with a new uh, control layout uh, based on uh, HOTA system. Um, so it will be a throttle, a joystick and some pedals to be uh, able to control it kind of like a fighter jet. So that's a new control system that we are testing. Uh, the process of testing it is first using our simulator where we have connected all these uh, new controls. The second part is testing it on a small vehicle that will be a uh, scaled one compared to the Mark 3C. And the last step is validating it uh, in testing environment and racing environment on the Mark 3C vehicle. I've got an extensive history using simulators to help develop my skills uh, as an FPV pilot and racer. So it's been a pleasure to work with the software engineers to develop the simulator, not only for the pilot testing ground, but as an engineering testbed. Part of that test bed is to validate the HOTAS system, which is a hands-on throttle and stick, uh, which is a more traditional way that aircraft are controlled. Um, obviously, this isn't something that I'm used to, so it's been a process to develop my skills on the HOTAS using the simulator, which is an awesome representation of the physics of the aircraft. Hello, my name is Andre, and I'm an embedded software engineer at Alauda. At Alauda, we design a vehicle with multiple sources of information for state estimation and localization. For example, one such a system is satellite navigation. Each vehicle has a double GPS setup, which allows not just to provide redundancies in the system, but also to calculate a heading angle. In addition, we have a ground station, which transmits uh, correction messages which allow to correct for common errors occurring in current uh, satellite navigational system. 
The whole setup allows to provide accuracy of centimeter level to all the vehicles participating in a race. This is useful not just because it allows to track all the speeders on a track, but also to provide obstacle avoidance functionality. You can have multiple vehicles participating in a race, and each vehicle should be aware of all the other vehicles' positions. Satellite navigational system allows to get accuracy about 1 meter. However, if you place a fixed station on the ground, you can transmit correction messages over the network, which allows to improve accuracy to centimeter level. Even though there will be multiple cameras on each speeder which allows to detect, identify and avoid the obstacles, it's still very useful to be aware of all the positions of all the other speeders. Apart from user cases during the race, we can use GMSS system for localizing speeders during the testing. It's always useful to, to have an ability for speeder to follow the predefined track. This might allow us to verify that all the systems are behaving as expected during the flying through the predefined road and provide repeatability for the experiments. Even though pilots are expected to maintain control over the vehicles at all times, it also comes down to safety concerns. If for some reason a pilot is losing control over the vehicle, he can trigger home return function which will return the vehicle to the home position safely.